Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today we're going to tackle one of the kind of Easter egg houses in this uh, game, and that is this one. The, what's this one called? The Huckster's House. This is the house from Breaking Bad. <laughs> if you're familiar with, uh, with the show Breaking Bad, uh, great show, not family friendly at all, but great show. Uh, this is a, essentially a recreation of that house, of the house of the main character from that show. <laughs> uh, so it's just kind of a cool little Easter egg that they put into the game. Uh, and we're going to tackle this one and see what we can kind of come up with. So looking outside, the garden's actually like pretty decent. You know, we can work with uh, we can work with this. We got some things that are boarded up. There should be a pool back here, right? Yep, there's a pool back here. There's actually this is this is nice. I wish you could do this sort of elevated thing like in game <laughs> on your own. Uh, but either way, like the garden here is actually really good. We can pretty much just use this as is and call it modern and it'll be fine. We'll maybe take out a couple of these concrete slabs and add anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So there's not really a whole lot to clean up outside other than uh, a couple pizzas, including a pizza up on the roof. Eh, there we go. I got it. Um, so there's all that. Now, the inside of the house, anything else need to be? No. Okay. The inside of the house, on the other hand, whoo, that door is nasty, uh, is kind of dirty, but there's a lot of open space here, which is really nice. Get rid of these boarded up bits. Looks like pretty much everything was boarded up over here. The inside of the house is very open and spacious, which I like a lot. Uh, we've got some cleanup to do, obviously. We'll have to replace good chunks of this. But there's a lot to work with here. So as far as layout goes, I don't know that we're going to do too much. There is a random hole in the floor with a ton of money. That's pretty sweet. Each one of these stacks is <laughs> $5,600 or $560. That's really cool. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me let's just take advantage of the free money here. Uh, I think this actually is a change. I feel like this used to be just a hole that you couldn't do anything with, but it, maybe it's maybe it still is. I don't know. I don't know if we can cover up that hole or not. Little lag spike there. Um, but it looks like we've got room for a bedroom over here, another bedroom here. We've got a two-car garage, a bathroom a really tiny room that we can't really do anything with as far as like bedrooms or anything like that but we'll just we'll probably just make it like a storage closet uh and then out here you've got a large living room a kitchen area and probably a dining room area so i think this is pretty much what we're gonna go with i don't think i'm really gonna have to change the layout of the house a whole lot uh but yeah i think it's pretty good let's go ahead and dive into cleaning it up and i'll catch up with you once i'm done well, that was actually pretty quick. There wasn't really a whole lot to do other than just some uh, some dirt for the most part. A little bit of trash, a little bit of dirt, but nothing too major. Uh, we will need to plaster some of these holes in the walls, which doesn't take too long. It's just a matter of finding the holes more than anything else. There we go. Um, and there's still one left somewhere, I think. We're going to have to change this bathroom. Uh, but one thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to point out before, uh, there's actually another bathroom attached to this bedroom that I didn't quite see. So we've actually got two bathrooms and two bedrooms, which I think is totally fine uh, and very workable, isn't there? I'm looking for this other hole in the wall that supposedly exists, but I don't see it. Maybe there... Maybe we did get all the holes? I don't know. It doesn't matter. If there's another hole, I will find it. Um, but yeah, this is all good. So now I think I need to paint everything. Uh, I decided to keep the fireplace. I think this is, uh, you know, perfectly fitting. Uh, but we're gonna have to paint everything. We're gonna have to figure out what we want to do for floors and all that kind of stuff. Definitely gonna have to make some changes to certain parts of this. 
uh, no doubt. But I don't know. I think we can uh, we can get to work and we can come up with something pretty cool. Well, my friends, the largest two rooms in the house are done, and that is the living slash dining room and then the kitchen, which is technically a separate room because we've got these lintels up here, these kind of like high top of the these, these like upper walls, I guess. They're called lintels. Um, but the kitchen, therefore, is technically a separate room. It's separated off. The game recognizes that. Anyway, so let's start with the living room. So I decided to change out the fireplace after all. Uh, and I basically set up the fireplace and then put some couches, uh, a couch and an armchair around it with a little coffee table, TV sort of above the fireplace. Over here, there's a little bit of a reading area with like a two-person couch, like a love seat, and then a bookshelf, a uh, painting on the wall, and then these are just seats, these like kind of benches. Uh, I used one here and one over here as well, another bookshelf. The dining room table is pretty large, and I wanted it to be able to really kind of fill this space and make this all sort of the dining room. So it has six chairs, even though this is uh, not a house that would fit six people, because it's only a two-bedroom house. Um, but I figure, you know, if there's guests over or whatever, why not? Uh, and then on top of that, we added in just a couple little sort of bits and bobs. Um, you know, some things in the hallway, uh, a mirror, some more pictures and paintings, some plants, things like that to just kind of, you know, fill everything out and finish the decorations. As for the kitchen, uh, I like the way this turned out a lot, so I extended this full wall over just a little bit going sort of that way, and that way I could basically have an island coming out of the wall like this, which not only helps sort of separate the kitchen from everything else, but also gives us a lot more counter space and, and really helps fill up the kitchen as well. So then we've got wooden cabinets wrapping around, we've got our stove, we've got our cupboards up here, uh, you know, sink, island, we got our refrigerator and everything you need, coffee machine, toaster, microwave, etc, etc. Um, one thing I do want to add real quick is just a hand towel. There we go. Let's just hang that like right here. That's fine. Um, so yeah, that's the kitchen. It's good. I'm happy with it. And then the living room slash dining room. Again, I'm quite happy with it. So next, I think I'm going to tackle the garage because this is going to be super quick. And there's just enough space here. Just enough space to fit a washing machine, which we will put together. So let's get the Emma washing machine right there. And we'll just assemble this thing real quick. Do, 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 do. I wish there was an option to like skip manual assembly in the menu just because like once you've assembled one of these things a few times it gets to the point where you're like really do I have to keep doing this forever <laughs> but oh well it's not too bad okay so there we go there's our washing machine and then we can fit a dryer uh, right next to it clothes dryer there we go go with the silver one and we'll just put that one right here. So we can fit, uh, in fact, let's actually scoot that over just a little bit. There we go. So we can fit our washer and dry, our washer and dryer out here in the garage, since there's this nice little sort of nook for it. And then I'm also just going to get a couple of steel garage shelves. And we'll put one right there. And one right here. And that way, we've got a little bit of storage in here. But that's all I'm going to do with the garage. I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. Uh, this is all I really wanted. But we've got our washer and dryer. That's the big important thing. So next, we've got a small bathroom here. We have the master bedroom and or the master bedroom along with the adjoining bathroom. We've got this tiny little space here, which I oh, oh yeah, I forgot I already did this. This is where that uh, hole is. And it was kind of a pain. I, I did remember correctly when I first started this house. You can't put anything on top of this hole directly. It has like it has to be placed in such a way. Here, I'll show you what I mean. So there's the hole. And you can see if I push it this way at all, and it's actually over the hole, 
uh, it won't work. So essentially, when I'm putting this down, I'm placing it in such a way that it ends up covering up the hole, even though this is technically being put on solid ground. But I just turned this into a little closet storage room type deal um, because it's really all there's space for. Um, but yeah, we still need to do this bedroom and this bedroom over here. Um, I think I'm going to tackle the bathroom over here first. All right, I've got the first bathroom done. Kept it very simple. Uh, just wood and white for the uh, cabinets and sink and the shelf over here. Put in kind of this uh, curved standing shower and then just a toilet and some toilet paper. Uh, gray towels. Pretty straightforward, very simple. Uh, it works. It's a bathroom. Uh, so now I think I want to tackle this bedroom over here, and I think we're going to tackle this one together. So let's go with some carpeted floors, I think. I believe they're under floor. No, I guess they're under panels and coverings. Here we go. Let's go with maybe... Hmm. What are the options? We could go with like a navy carpet, maybe. Or maybe like this dark red. Let's actually see how this looks. You know what? I think we can make it work. Just to kind of do something a bit different here. But we need to go with like a dark gray for the walls, I think. I think the... I think the red carpet is really only going to work if you go with a dark colored wall. So let's just paint the walls gray. Which thankfully won't take too long because it is a relatively small room. And then we need to start thinking about what we're going to do in here for furniture. So maybe... Hmm. What would be good? Darker colored furniture maybe would be the way to go. I don't know. Let's see what we have here. If we go to furniture and we look at beds... That's where we want to start, for sure. And we probably want to go with a single bed, I think, just because it's a pretty small room. So maybe... Or we could go here, with like a hide-a-bed. That could be okay. Maybe? Mm, maybe not. That's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty tough to... Bit. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, I, th I think we're going back to the single bed ideas. Maybe something like this. But we definitely need to change out the pillows and ooh, maybe something that could work. Go like black or gray. Maybe, maybe, maybe like this. And that's a no. Um. That's also a no. Hmm. I wish there were more single bed options. There's just not that many good ones. Maybe like dark oak here. Go like... Something like... This, maybe. Or... Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah, I think that works. That's alright. So we can put the bed in the corner there. And then we'll need dressers and stuff. So let's go look at wardrobe, see what we have to work with here. I think we can probably go... Like this. Fit that bad boy in right there. That should work. Then we want, I think, maybe a mirror above it. If this comes in the right color, it's close enough. It'll work. So we'll put that up there. Let's get a little bedside table. And preferably something... Maybe something like this. Like a... I'd really like a darker gray than that. 
Um, there's not a lot of options here either. It's just like wooden and light colored. <laughs> so, uh, how's how would like a gray table look? That actually looks okay. Maybe we could do something like that, but switch it out for like this one, maybe. You know, just so that there's some sort of um, bedside thing. And then we can put a little lamp on it of some sort. I'm thinking maybe something like this. Just there we go. That'll work. That should do nicely. OK, so then this wall, I think maybe we want to go with like a desk. Uh, not a super, super big desk, but. Something like this, maybe. And we can put that in this corner over here. Get just a chair. Uh, furniture. Will a proper office chair fit under this desk? No. But we could go... with one of these swivel chairs, maybe like a gray one. That one won't fit either. Ah, that's annoying. OK, um, in that case, we'll look at dining room chairs and see what we have to work with here. So maybe we go. Maybe just something like that. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. And then we'll just put like a little laptop right there. So there's like a little bit of a desk workspace in here. And then last but not least, let's go furniture, bedroom. Now, here's the question. Do I want to put a TV in here? Because if I want to put a TV in here, we'd want to put like another dresser here and then the TV above it. But I think instead I might want to go with a bookshelf. Um, where's the big one? Here we go. Which comes in this kind of darker color. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. So we'll do something like that. Okay. Now, we need pictures and stuff on the walls. So let's see what we're working with that would actually kind of go with this color scheme. And that's going to be sort of the tricky part. Maybe something like this. Ooh, that actually looks really nice. I think that will work wonders. Uh, let's put that up here. And then on this wall, I don't want to just hang up a giant picture, but we need to do something with this wall. Maybe shelves? Do these come in the walnut? They do come in Brazil Nut and Burn Beach. And Brazil Nut is very, very close. Like, it's it's close enough that you won't even be able to tell the difference. So let's maybe just put a couple of shelves there. Above the bed. These actually need to scoot over just a tiny bit. And now I think they're centered above the bed. And then we can put another picture here. Uh, so pictures and paintings, but we need something that again goes with the color scheme. Maybe this? Um, eh. It could work, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. What about like the sunset? Ooh, that, that's much better. That, that fits much better with the color scheme. I like it. Okay. And then last, we need a light in here. And I think we'll just go... Ceiling lamps. Maybe just the uh, the good old ceiling fan. Make it like black. Put that uh, over a little bit more. Needs to come that way a little bit more. That's roughly centered. Yeah, I think that'll do. That's a nice little bedroom. It's kind of dark. But uh, it's moody. It has character. I like it. 
All right, I have finished up the master bedroom, which is pretty simple. Went with kind of a blue and gray sort of color scheme here. So we went with uh, a double bed, dresser with a mirror, painting on the wall, and a bookshelf. It's kind of an awkward shape for a room, so I wasn't able to fit maybe as much as I would normally like into here. Um, but it works. I mean, it's it's fine. I, I think it's perfectly serviceable, and I, I like it just fine. It's nice and clean, very minimalist, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, and then the bathroom, I went with a larger shower over here, sink kind of right near the uh, the door, toilet, couple of cabinets and cupboards, some towels hanging on the wall, etc. Again, Pretty straightforward, very simple, but effective, and it works. So we have our two-bedroom, two-bath house all finished. All the rooms are done. Uh, we've got our garage, we've got our little storage room here, kitchen, living room, etc. And then uh, our bedroom. But I do want to do a little bit with the outside, because this is actually pretty much done already. We just need to add some decorations and stuff. Um, so like if we go out front, we'll just have to basically put in some grass. I mean, this is all but set up for like a nice sort of, um, uh, like let's just go maybe something like that. And then, or even something like this. And we can put the, uh, the concrete things back. Here we go. Uh, looks like they were all facing this way. There we go. So we'll just put those back. We'll go back to surfaces, get some gravel. And we can just kind of gravel these little areas here. And then we can fill them with uh, different stuff. So, you know, get like... Um, Go into plants, go with decorative grass, and just get some, maybe something like this. Just put a couple of these in, maybe one there, one here. Get some smaller grass here, 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 and then some larger sort of, you know, something, something like that. Just sort of a little bit of decorative grass. That's actually relatively a, a modern sort of idea is having sort of decorative grass patches, which I actually think is super ugly, but like, I don't make the rules. This is what modern looks like. <laughs> I, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. All right. It's fine. <laughs> uh, is there another option here? Something that's maybe not as like poofy? Nah, it's fine. That'll work. Uh, but then we'll need to put in like a gazebo and some uh, benches and seating and stuff like that. But there's a lot we can do with this space. So let me do some work on it and I'll uh, show you what it looks like when I'm all done. All right. I put some finishing touches on it. Did uh, some ornamental grass out front. You know, we did the ornamental grass over here together. Added in a couple of sun chairs and umbrella. Put in a couple of sofas over here, a grill, added some more ornamental grass to this area back here. And then I also added in like a little bit of a sitting area over here with sort of a wraparound sofa and some coffee tables. So I think that is pretty much good to go as well. Um, and I think we're ready to sell the house. Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to submit this as a modern one. Eh, probably should have put in some more ornamental grass, but it's fine. We still get a nice little boost to the sale price of the house, and I didn't put in that much time because most of it was done already. So let's go ahead and put this house on auction, and let's see what we can get for the Breaking Bad house. <laughs> oh, man. So it looks like we've got about, I don't know, 107000 105000 110000 something like that, into the house, and we're going to make more than double that back. So pretty fantastic. We're doing... Uh, quite well from a profit standpoint. And I think the house turned out really well. I'm super happy with it. Yet again, another house done and dusted, flipped, renovated, and looking good. I'll take it.
I'll take it. Guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.